You're here because you want to learn how to sign He Still Came. It's a newer song, and it turns out not a whole lot of people know this song. That's okay. It's still a beautiful song, and if you don't know it, you ought to. It is. It, I think you would really enjoy it. Anyway, we're going to go through the vocabulary on this song. Uh, and I say this at the beginning of all of my uh, vocabulary lessons. I'm going to be showing you the words that are associated with the song, but I want you to be thinking of these things in sentences, in phrases, uh, in groups of words, because well, when we speak, we don't speak like this. Uh, in fact, we can say, run our words really, really fast together and we still understand what, whatever we're saying. So if we can do that, the deaf do the same thing. They don't want to see individual signs for each word. They want to see it flow across. And the only way that that's going to happen is if you learn this thing in terms of sentences as opposed to individual words. All right, so off my soapbox on that, let's go ahead and get into the song. He Still Came is a song that basically says that it doesn't matter what it costs, Knowing all the bad things that I've done in life, he still came, and he came for me. And so it's really a pretty song. Here's how it starts. No palace, no jewels. All right. No. There are three different kinds of no's. All right. There is no. You can't have a banana. No. And it's just like in kind of coming together. Uh, no. No. Uh, then we have no, as in I know we have some bananas, and it's just kind of touching the head. Uh, that's like knowledge, kind of no. And the no that we have here is it no. It's kind of two zero hands coming coming out at you, and this is like yes, I have no bananas. All right, so no palace. What is a palace? A palace is a house. It happens to be a big house. Okay? So a house, you have the roof and the walls. A palace is a big roof and a big walls. Alright? It's a big house. No jewels. It's the center finger touching the ring finger and then kind of shining off of that. Alright? jewels. No kingdom to rule. No kingdom. This is a, going to be a combination of uh, two signs. Well, actually three signs. All right. A kingdom is a king's land. All right. And a land is an area made out of dirt. All right, and so that's kind of the way this sign goes together. A king, that's a K, coming from the shoulder opposite your elbow down to your hip on the same side as your elbow. So a king, dirty, and you start with a little finger here and just kind of run through all the fingers. It's kind of like... You know, if you've ever been in a West Texas uh, dust storm and you can feel the dirt in the air, that's, that's what that is. That's that sign. So, a king's dirty area. An area, you have land here and all the stuff around it. So, and then you run all those signs together to make it look like one sign. So, a kingdom. All right. You may have to practice that one a few times. Uh, to rule. Now, we're going to leave the word to out. Uh, oftentimes, in fact, almost all times, those little two-letter words, we don't need them. Eh, we, so we eject them. Uh, we're communicating the way the, the deaf want to hear it. And the deaf don't use the word to very often. So, no kingdom to rule. And this is like sitting on the back of a, of a horse-drawn carriage and you got the reins in your hand. Okay, but you do it with X fingers 
and you just kind of do it like that. And it comes from having, you know, control over a horse using the reins. But that'll be uh, rule or rein or any one of those uh, kind of uh, in control type uh, signs. No crown of majesty. No crown. Every one of you, I am certain of it, has been to Burger King and gotten one of their little golden crowns at some point in your life. It's got those little bump things on the edges. All right. So your thumb, finger, the next finger are those bumps. All right. If you want to have more bumps, bring up the more, bring up more fingers. But then you put it on your head, and that becomes a crown. Do you see the picture there? No crown of majesty. All right. It's the letter M. It comes out here, and it just kind of makes a circle down. And majesty has something with it where you really ought to be bowing to it. So, majesty. Uh, consider yourself standing before the king, and you say, Your majesty. All right? It's kind of got that flavor to it. No throne and no robe. We're going to use this no sign a lot. No throne. It's V's coming back. It's kind of like those big old uncomfortable armrest things that happen on a throne. Is what you're, what you're drawing in the air here. Throne. Um, no throne and no robe. No robe. And you basically touch yourself with your thumb. I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit. Like I'm rusting myself off. Don't, don't be that uh, aggressive about it. Just robe. Okay. No silver, no gold. No. Silver is from the bottom of the ear. Gold is from the top of the ear. And you just kind of point to the ear and come out in a Y hand. All right. And that turns out to be the same sign as California. So California and gold, whatever. You get the idea. Silver and gold. And if you get them mixed up and you say gold and silver, nobody's going to notice. Okay. But silver's at the bottom and gold's at the top. No courts of royalty. No courts. Court is nothing more than a place. Okay? Uh, and so that's what we're going to sign it. No place of royalty. And play or court, it, the letter P, you start out here with the center finger touching each other. And then you draw sort of a circle in the air. And you come back and they're touching each other again. So there's a circle like right here in the middle that you're kind of circumscribing with that. Okay. No court of royalty. Royalty, majesty, they're kind of cousins in, in what, they're, what they try to say. All right. And what was majesty? You remember that? That was an M. Well, royalty is an R. Okay. So royalty. Yet the King of Kings left heaven. Yet, and it's a Y hand, this kind of goes down a little bit and up. Yet, the King, we already did that one part of his kingdom, uh, the King of Kings. Now, most of the time, I would leave the word of out. Here, it's kind of important because just the King King wouldn't make you. A lot of sense. It wouldn't deliver the message. So the king of, and notice how I do that. King of, I don't stop and go king of kings. All right. It's king down, of up, king down. See how that works? Uh, this is part of that, you know, if we talk really, really fast, we can still understand each other. Uh, running the signs together so that the deaf will still pick up on it. All right. The king of kings left heaven or left heaven. Let's do it that way. Left. Hold on to a basketball and pretend there's a table in front of you. All right. 
You're going to put the basketball on the table, and all of a sudden the basketball gets really, really hot. You're going to let go. Okay? So, in this situation, though, where are we leaving from? Left heaven. Left heaven is up here. Heaven is somewhere up here. So, instead of leaving the basketball on the table, we're going to leave the basketball up here. And that is done by left, heaven, heaven. Heaven is, start with two hands side by side, or kind of pointing up like this. And then come up, slide one under the other, and then come out. Heaven, heaven. Practice that one a few times. There are certain signs that inevitably somebody has a little bit of trouble with. This is one of them. Heaven. To become a lowly man. Okay. To, he left heaven. Become lowly man. Alright. Become. Kind of palms together, fingers pointing in opposite directions. And when you get done, you still have your palms together and fingers pointing in opposite directions. So, you're here and you become here. Uh, a lowly man. We'll leave out A, lowly. It's humble. Okay? It's kind of like an H. And it's kind of like majesty. And it's kind of like royalty. Only this time, it's humility. Humble. Okay? And you probably don't bow to humble. You might bow to majesty. You might bow to royalty. But you would not bow to humility. Makes sense? A lowly man. It's kind of like your hands all the way wide out. Your thumb hits your forehead. The thumb hits the center of your chest. Okay? He left all heaven's glory to fulfill his father's plan. Now, he... A finger pointed in any direction is a pronoun. That's you. That's me. Uh, that's she. That's he. That's it. Okay? And when it comes to God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, they, in sign language, live here. Okay? So, if you point up there, it'll always mean God or Jesus to them. Okay? So, he left all heaven's glory, left, all right, all heaven's glory. Okay, all. Put your hand up, put a kind of a roof over the top of it, left hand up, right hand roof, unless you're left-handed, and then twiddle them. All right, and it can be all, or all. All, or all, or all, okay? Depending on how big you wanted to make that all inclusive. The point is, though, you start here and you end here. And this hand does a flip of some sort. He left all heavens, very good heavens, glory, kind of a, a light golf clap, and then shimmer is glory. Uh, he left all heaven's glory to fulfill his Father's plan. Fulfill is kind of pull it towards yourself and then push it away from yourself. It's kind of like you're uh, measuring a cup of flour and you're shaving off the top to make it perfectly level. I don't know how many bakers you there are out there. But that's what I do. Fulfill his... Uh, his is an open palm, pointed out, just like a finger is you, she, he, it, him. Open palm shows ownership. Yours, hers, it's his. Okay? So, we're talking about Jesus here. He left all heaven's glory to fulfill his Father's plan. Father. Okay, this is mom, 
and this is dad. This is grandpa, okay? Or grandpa. God, when he's referred to as father, it's kind of like an exploding grandfather, all right? It's father. Father. See how the hands kind of open up and fall apart or move apart? Father's plan. I have something here, and then I'm going to do something here, and then I'm going to do something next, and then I'm going to do this. It's a plan. He still came just for me. He still came. He still came just for me. All right. He, we already talked about, still came. Still. This is continued. Uh, continued come. Come and go. All right. Let me show you both of those. Come. It's like a wheels rolling toward you. Go is wheels rolling away from you. It's directional though. He still came just for me. J in the air. And I would put a little just. Okay, it's not just for me. It's just for me. He still came. Knowing all he would endure, he still came. Knowing, remember my, my, my uh, little diatribe on, on no, this is the other kind of no, like no, I guess I know we don't have any bananas. No, uh, knowing all he would, would, is the hand is coming up over the ear and out, like that. Knowing all he would endure. It's the thumb. It kind of starts at your lip and then kind of wiggles its way down or just kind of mm, its way down. That's endure. Knowing all he would endure, he still came. Disregarding every cost. Disregarding. If all your fingers are together, okay, and you kind of put it by the side of your nose, and throw it away. Okay? Disregarding every... You got an A hand here and an A hand here. And you have the thumb come and cross all of the fingers right across these part of the knuckles. It's coming down. That is every. Okay? Dis, uh, disregarding every cost. Make an X hand. And then the hand out here, and just kind of scrape across the palm with the X. Uh, it's kind of like if you had money in your hand, you're taking it out. Disregarding every cost, from the manger to the cross. From, hold up your finger, and make another X hand. And the X is like pulling the string on the back of, uh, what was the guy's name on Toy Story, Woody? Uh, he pulled a string and he talked. It's kind of like that feeling. You're going to pull that out. That's from. Okay? From the manger to the cross. All right. There is no sign for manger. But what is the author trying to say here? The author here is trying to say from birth to death. There's a timeline associated here. Okay? So, we're going to say manger, baby, to the cross. Now, notice what I did there. I could have said manger to cross. If it's all right here in front of me in this little box, time didn't happen. You didn't relay time. If you start on one side and move it across, then, you, then there's a time element that's shown there. So, from the manger to the cross. See how I moved it up this way? That will show that it's a time from birth to death. 
disregarding every cost from the manger to the cross. He still came just for me. He still came. He still came just for me. He still came. All right. That's the first verse and chorus. Second verse. No family, no friends, no family. It's F hands that come together at the circles here and make a circle in front of you and come together with the little fingers touching. No family, no friends. And this is hook here and hook here and that's a friend. No family, no friends, no help at the end, no help. It's an A hand and you kind of lift it up a little bit and that's help. So no help at the end. And I'd probably leave the word at out. If you want to put it in there, it's just hitting the uh, your wrist with the tips of your fingers like that. But the end is like you have a bridge and you're going to traverse the entire bridge and fall off. Okay, it's an unfinished bridge at the end. No out, no substitute. No out. That's escape. Escape. Make a live long and prosper with your left hand for you Star Trek fans. Put your finger up inside it and then out and that's an escape. No out, no substitute. So you got an F hand here, right hand is close to you, left hand is out, you're kind of in a line and you're going to trade places. That's substitute. No out, no substitute. Much pain and much hurt. Much. I've got something here it's this size, but no, it's growing, it's bigger, it's much. Okay? Much pain. You've seen the little game, I'm sure, where you have uh, Chinese handcuffs, where you stick a finger in and stick a finger in, and you pull, and you can't get it out, right? All right? So imagine then if you stuck one finger in this way and one finger in this way. All right, notice this one's upside down. And then you twisted it around. That would be bound to hurt. Pain. That's kind of the picture I see in my mind when I see that pain. Uh, much pain and much hurt. Hmm. What's the difference between pain and hurt? Nothing. It's the same sign. Much pain and it's kind of an open palm out coming into all the fingers together. See how that's done? And much hurt to give, all right, give. Give love and worth. If I have something, I want to give it to you, I'll give it to you. If I want you to give me something, I say, give me that something, okay? If you are going to give me something, you're going to give it to me, right? Okay. So give is directional. I have it in my hands and I'm going to give it to you or you're going to give it to me. So much pain and much hurt to give. And because he's the one giving it, it's coming from heaven. To give love, like you're holding your teddy bear, and worth. It's F hands down here with your fingers together, your little fingers touching, coming up to where the circles are together. Worth. He bore our sins and grief. He bore. And it's like having something heavy on your shoulder. Uh, you know, your, your backpack, uh, some of the purses I see some of you girls carrying. It's amazing you're not toppled over. Uh, it's a burden, okay? So, uh, bear. Um, he bore our grief, our sins and grief. Our, it's an open palm on the same side as your elbow. 
making a semicircle coming across your chest. Okay, our sins and grief. Sins. Difficult to show this one on video. Uh, it's two X hands. They kind of start at your chin here. And then they kind of loop, de loop, de loop. Okay? I'm going to do it sideways so maybe it'll be easier to see. Sort of a loop and a loop and a loop. If I had a top camera, that would help. <laughs> okay? Sin and grief. And grief. It's wide open hands, one kind of hiding your face, one a little bit below it, and they just kind of drop. Now, grief is an emotion. I cannot do grief and have a big old smile on my face. That's not grief. All right? You need to have, you know, wrinkle up your eyebrows there just a little bit. It's sadness. It's grief. So at least not be smiling. Okay? Uh, yet the hope of what he offered, yet... All right, we already did, get, did yet once, but it's kind of a Y hand going down, coming up. Yet the hope of what he offered, hope. Wave at yourself and wave back at the same time. Hope of what he offered. Okay, what? Is the uh, a finger just kind of crossing your palm. What he offered, gave so outweighed what much be what must be done so so is one of those odd words it has no definition i don't know what if you were to say define the word so um, outside of any kind of context it would have no no definition so here so is used to emphasize and the way we emphasize is to have, say truly and that's just the finger coming off of the chin, up like that, truly. So outweighed what must be done. Outweighed. This is to weigh something. All right. And this, the right hand is going to have, if you're right hand, is going to have that which is important to you. Okay. So outweighed. This one gets really heavy. Understand what I'm saying? You're weighing and this one is like really important. Outweighed what must be done. What must. It's an X finger that just kind of hooks into the air. What must be. And a B is just a B coming off the chin. Done. And it's just two C hands kind of rocking back and forth. Uh, this would be signed for do and does and done and did. All those do derivatives. Okay. Uh, so I weighed what must be done. He chose to be my victor. He chose. All right. So picture in front of you a row of jelly beans. And there's a black one there. That's the one you want to choose because everybody knows the black jelly beans are the best. You reach down and you pick it up. All right, that's chose or choose either way. Uh, chose to be my victor. Be my victor. Okay, so this is victory. It's kind of like waving the little flag in the air. Yay, we win kind of thing. All right, victory. And in sign language, when you put this at the end of a word, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Excuse me. So where was I? Victor. Victor E. All right. So Victor, uh, when you put this at the end of a word, it takes that word that which comes after and makes it a person that does that. Okay, so I've got a victor, and I put this at the end, it makes a person that does that. 
So a victor. We'll see this also, I don't think in this song, but savior. There's a save person, a person who saves. A victor is a victory person. Okay? And assured my pardon won. And assured my pardon won. Okay, let's do that again. Assured. Assured. What does that word mean? Assured. Promised. He promised, okay? He made sure. Promise. So it's a P and a pop. Don't actually make the pop sound, okay? Yeah, I'm just doing it so you can see what, what, what's going on there. P pop. That's promise. Promise to, uh, and, and assured my pardon won. And assured my, open palm, pointing to myself, means mine. Uh, pardon one, forgiveness. If I've got all of my sins listed out here on my hand, uh, it's pretty dirty, I don't really much like it, wipe it clean. That's forgiveness. Uh, pardon one. Uh, pretend there's a fly, make an A, sort of an S hand. Uh, pretend there's a fly there and you want to catch it. If you catch it, you win. All right. Pardon one. He still came just for me. He still came. Knowing all he would endure, he still came. Disregarding every cost from the manger to the cross. He still came just for me. He still came. That was the chorus. Okay. And we've gone through the chorus already once. At this point, you should be a genius. You should know all of the signs. You may have to go through this more than once to get them all because I kind of go quickly. Uh, anyway, get to the point where you feel comfortable signing all of these signs and that you're doing it in sentences. I can't stress that enough. Do it in sentences. And once you get feel comfortable with the sentences here and how to sign them, go to the next, time, next part where we will sing the song really, really slowly. Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.